Hello, 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 and a good evening to all of you who are watching on a Friday night. Bonjour, Thomas. Ça va, monsieur? Hello, Sophie. Oh, I just broke the Twitch illusion that I know your name. <laughs> Guten Abend, Leute, wie geht's Ihnen? Wie geht's euch? Entschuldigung. Geht's gut, oder? So, how's the lockdown in uh, Germany? Still having fun? Or do, do you want to cry at this stage? So, I can imagine that you kind of want to. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Didn't it get like extended to like an entire month of January? Sucks to be you guys. S sucks to be German again, right? For the third time. Oh. So, I want to do some rigging with all of you. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. So, I want to do a little more complex rigging tonight. <laughs> <coughs> Good times. So, um, I wanted to do this character. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that have never been shown before, uh, at least not, not to my knowledge. So, we're going to do a little bit of extra things here. Um, but a couple of things that you should always do before you start rigging, right? Just a simple trick. For love of God and all that's holy, uh, that's, that's medical, of course. Check your channel box, make sure everything's uh, reset, 000. Uh, pivot point in the middle of it should be helpful as well and that you delete history so the first thing that you should always do right is check your mesh to see like hey do i have I have enough triangles to actually support rigging in this case i've got a couple of mistakes here right so i'm gonna grab my awesome pen tool i almost get um what i see uh well considering i i made the character so that helps but i'm missing a couple of loops mostly around here so for a, a proper bending or a proper deformation of the arm you need at least uh three edge loops and right now i've only got like one and a half so i need to add more and look at the spacing here i also got a little bit of a problem like here as well i might want to add a little one there as well so the more the better um but the more also makes it a little more complicated so keep that in mind so i'm gonna turn on symmetry because i'm lazy i'm just gonna make it even easier for myself i'm just gonna bevel this a little bit so now i've got a loops here that i actually need to support it I'm going to add one here, uh, so I got a little bit more control over my actual deformations here. Now, ideally, of course, you want to smooth it out. <laughs> living on the edge, living on the edge. So what I want to do, right? I actually want to do a little bit more complex rig. So I, I want to talk about a couple things as well. So I look at the character, right? So of course we're gonna need a couple of arms here, right? So we're gonna need a uh, joint here, here, and here, 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 here. And of course all the way around as well so this is like a goat leg so i'm going to need a couple more here as well so they like the complicated one and uh, what i also want to do is i want to add um, what we call um, volume joints so they actually help um, preserve the volume of, of the mesh so i don't have to do a lot of uh, weight painting ideally so like the spine is here it's gonna paint a beautiful spine here this is my spine but also what i want to do is i want to add a couple of more like here here maybe here as well and then lastly i want to add uh, joints to actually make it come up a little bit more so i want to add joints here in my thing i don't want to call it um and i also want to add a joint here that will help him breathe right so you get the illusion that he's actually breathing uh, and maybe i also want to add muscle joints right so i want to fake muscles by using a different technique let's take, pick a different color here i'm gonna go for pink no i'm gonna go for beautiful color here so i also want to add like muscles here that will actually like um pretend that they are the pectoralis mayor or the pecs so we get a little bit more like better def definition as well so let's just get the show on the road i always start from the the spine because that's the central point of your entire body uh, assuming you have one and i will always start from the spine so i'm going to turn this 
uh, oh, come on over here so I've already added it so I've got a preset I might as well check here whoa wrong button second objects and there we go so on x-ray makes life a little bit easier and I also I have a rig layer that I already pre-made a little bit easier so let's get a show on the road so I'm gonna start with, again with spine as usual so the first thing I want to check is my size that's okay so I start at, at your pelvis at the root and then you just want to see okay, how many joints do I need but well, in this case since I have four arms I make myself a little more difficult here so we're gonna need probably an extra couple of spines here and I just try to follow the actual shape of the spine and we stop at the actual neck right over there now as usual you know what to do so at this stage right you need to name your shit so I, I always use a prefix or maybe join join G <laughs> joint uh, this is my root uh, so I'm gonna call it my pelvis um, and I, pr I prefer using the prefix joint because uh, but it's my personal preference uh, you can also call it R or uh, joint yeah GNT pick one whatever makes you happy and you know it clap your hands and then I'm just gonna go through all of them I, and I, I'm just pressing the button down so key arrow down that will goes goes down the actual hierarchy so I don't have to click all the time whoa I just did a lot of stuff here that I should not have done I just figured it's almost press the wrong button in my close and this is of course my neck num num neck neck so this will end beautiful now and at first I just lay everything out right and and I and I don't connect them at the early stage I just put them in there and that's it let's do the arms I'm gonna go for my top view here which sounds a little bit counterintuitive but I, I just want to make sure that I have an actual bend in there so to make my life easier I make sure that there's like an actual bend in my joint system by default so that the, my IK handles know how to behave and because if your IK is perfectly straight or your joint system is perfectly straight then the IK doesn't know where to go so it'll, it'll just pick a side and it can be if you're lucky the correct size side but if you're unlucky then you have to do weird stuff to this so I'm just gonna I don't know where it starts so I'm just gonna pick one doesn't really matter because in the end you know doesn't even matter let's be honest and then I'm just gonna hold tap D so I can move joints don't rotate joints for the love of God don't rotate them that will cause issues am I lucky oh it's pretty good actually so this should be in the center of your shoulder turn this one on a little bit easier should be around the center ish and maybe a little bit higher because your muscles right when you actually rotate your arm it's it's not from like here but a little bit higher um make love a little bit easier and then the elbow should be a little bit more towards the back so it gets really like pointy elbow thingy and then the wrists should be a little bit lower also like in this case right you have to maybe touch yourself i know this is sounds so bad um but you have to touch yourself like hey what is my actual pivot point of my wrist and where does it actually rotate around in that case it will help a lot there's a cool trick as well that you can do as well if you go for the settings here you can also set projected centering which will then place your joint hopefully in the middle of your mesh if you keep your fingers crossed then it might actually work so i'm going to give it a go i'm going to start here at my thumb start here and then my thumb should have three and there let's have a look completely off thank you for that amazing tool maya doesn't do anything at all <laughs> horrible can I go to the front viewport maybe what if I do this does it work then like well you can actually do protect the centering or not fuck me it's not even close huh it's not that bad so in this case okay let's continue let's just give it a go here uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> that's not bad at all a little bit lucky sometimes you have to be lucky my four arms are getting in the way no pun intended but they are actually getting in the way right now it's okay let's turn this bad boy on here freeze it 
So they're completely wrong. Uh, I have one too many. I have one too many. Okay, I'm gonna unparent this. So Shift P is unparent. I'm just gonna delete this one. I'm gonna reparent it. So child parent P. Actually, did I? No, oh, wait. I was correct. Sorry. I knew that. Then of course, was a test to see if you guys were paying attention. On Friday night, because you have nothing else to do. Then watching me rig a character. And yeah, it's fine. This should be a little bit higher. So again, right, it's just feeling where your thumb moves around. In this case, it starts around here. That makes sense. And then you can just fill it around a little bit. A little bit higher. Beautiful. Okay, and and I don't parent it yet, but I'm gonna rename it though. So this is my left upper uh, upper arm. That means upper upper arm. See, Jaden is awesome. Oh, see, people are actually awesome. Oh, um, upper uh, first joint. See, no, I'm, I'm like all flustered. Upper as in upper arm, right? Upper upper arms, just have four arms, and then. Thump one and then two, three, and I'm gonna call this one the nub. Nub as in that's nothing, right? It's just there, uh, so we can use it. So nub comes from uh, three three S max. They actually use in three S max, and it just means the end end of a uh, joint chain. You can also call it something else, like I don't know, whatever makes you happy end or next one gonna start here 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 and here am i lucky what i'm not even close you know what i'm gonna cheat fuck it just gonna grab the hand here oh okay should probably get the mesh first so annoying I don't know if you can notice, but you can also hide faces. That's what I'm going to do right now. Make my life a little easier. I'm going to infer my selection, hide it. There we go. It's a little bit easier. So I just Ctrl Shift I to invert selection and Ctrl H to hide the faces. And that means I can only see my hand. So it's a little bit easier to actually rig this bad boy. There we go. Thank you. Let's try this again. See, this makes it a little bit shorter here. Let's do this. 0.2. A little bit smaller. And there. <laughs> wow. Great tool. Projected centering. If it would work. No. It's okay. We'll just do it like the good old fashioned way. With good old fashioned manual labor. Uh, let's do a little bit more to the center here. There we go. And I'm just aiming at the, the three lines that I made here, right? So three edge loops every single time. Uh, so I know where to place the joints here a little bit better. And again, the knob. Beautiful knob. Should be a little bit lower, probably. And, uh, and at this point, I don't really care about the actual um, uh, joint orientation. I don't really care. This is the index, I think. I think it's called the index finger. The fun times. And no. And now I'm just gonna cop I'm just gonna duplicate this joint chain. Fuck it. A little faster. Again, just don't ro don't rotate this, because that will cause issues. I'm just trying to align it a little bit more with my knuckles. A little, little bit forward. There we go. And again, just move it. It's just a, just a lot of moving involved. I'm trying to find that sweet spot. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be perfect though. There we go. This one should be a little bit more. There we go. Beautiful. 
This of course everybody knows this finger. Let's call it middle, a little bit easier. So so we don't have to get root here, you know. Nope. And the first arm arm is just a pain in the ass, and, and of that we could just, just duplicate the entire arm. Um, but there's a there's a trick to that that I'll show you how to do that. To uh, make sure that it actually works out fine. So again, same thing here. Now placement is actually key when it comes to rigging. Placement is key of the joints because uh, that depends on how the ball actually, of course, bent. So yes. You have to be a little bit more careful here that you don't like, yeah, I'm just gonna put it here and just see how it works out because nine out of 10 times it won't. And then you start crying and it's kind of sad, so don't cry. And if you do take selfies, you know, the usual stuff. Ah, that's good enough. This is the ring. Last but not least, our best friend Pinky. Uh huh. And this is mostly eyeballing though, so it's kind of annoying. You have to like eyeball where it should go to. There's no like real science behind this. I'm like, mm, yeah, this. I think this is this will work fine. That's pretty much it. But I'm always like aiming for that center vertex here. That's that's my aiming point because I know that, that that's the middle of it. So I'm just using that one. That's my go-to point in 3D space. This makes it even more complicated. I think this one should be a little bit. That's fine actually. Awesome. Okay. And this is Pink E. Oh. And again, I'm just using the arrow button down to actually do this. Awesome. So let's parent D. So child parent E. Child parent P. Same thing. Nothing really complicated about this. Child parent P. And then we're going to do something completely different. It's actually kind of awesome. So, joint orientation is actually really important. Um, and right now it's fucked up. So I'm gonna show you a trick that you can show them all, like like enable all the um, local rotation axis so you can view them, because otherwise you have to go click a joint, you have to go to display, transform display, local rotation axis, and that's have to do it for every single joint, right? It's a, it's a complete pain in the ass. So I'm gonna show you how to make a script for that. So I'm gonna open up my script editor. Don't be afraid, it's only programming. It's actually really easy programming as well. I'm gonna use Python, right? This is Python, I made it a little bigger here. So you can all see what I'm typing. So what I just wanna do is I just wanna make a script that enables uh, the local, the, like a display transform X for every single joint in my uh, scene and just toggle them like on, off, on, off. And that's that's what I wanna do here. So I'm gonna just walk you through this on how you do this. So for those who are uh, at my master class, they know about this, but uh, we first need to import the Maya API as something, I'm gonna call it CMD. Um, this is just, so we can actually use access Maya's API for this, that's it. So we can now say uh, Maya create me a cube, for example, that's it. So I wanna select all my joints here, so I'm gonna store them in a variable called selection or select or joint selection or whatever, Germany, whatever. And then we have a thing called base.ls, or sorry, cmd.ls. And ls just means list selection, that's it. In this case though, I wanna select everything of the type of joint. So select all the joints in my scene. That's the only thing it does right now. So I can print this, print selection. So if I now to execute this bad boy here, you'll see that every joint in my scene gets listed. That's the only thing it does. So select all my joints, or select everything in my scene that's of the type of joint. 
and that's it. So then we're gonna walk, then we're gonna walk through them. Uh, so I'm gonna make a for loop here for uh, joint in my selection. Oh, let's call this J and selection. So this is a little bit different than every other language. You have to do like a colon here, um, and then we can actually walk through this. So I, I, I need to set the attributes, they are called set attributes, so set etr uh, of my joint and then plus display local axis and then I need to set it true or false, I'm going to do it differently, uh, not cd.get attribute. Axis. There we go. This should work, I think. Let's give it a shot here. It's like all. Oh, nope, I've got an error here. End of line. Wow, what's this? This is cool. Just my luck again. End of line while scanning is not. Wow, I already fucked it up. Oh, I see what it is. I see what it is. That one. Okay. So yeah, now it just toggles every single thing in here, and I'll and I'll, and I'll paste this in chat as well. It's a little bit easier. You could just toggle this. So I can all grab this and put it on my custom script here. I can just mouse button three, just drag it in there. There we go. Close this, and now I have my own display button. Awesome. I'll just buy tip, tip, paste this in chat so you can all use this. There you go. Um, actually, no, this will cause errors because it's indent sensitive or tap sensitive, as I call it. I will save it here. Uh, save script. Save script. Desktop. Um, what shall we call this? What's a good name for this? Uh, display. Actually. Hope I can actually paste this in chat, would be kind of cool. Can I do it like this? No, I can't. Fuck. I'll just put it on, on retransfer so everybody can use it. I'll make a link. Give me a second. Only one second. Great link. There we go. So you can all download it. Um, it's just a script that you can open, right? So you go, you open up your script editor over here, open it, file open, op open that script, and then just select all, and then just mouse button three, just drag it in your custom shelf, and then you have the script working. So it's a little bit easier, so you don't have to like every single one of them. So now we can start looking into my. Uh, Joint orientation is completely fucked up, so I'm just. Usually, right, you can get away. Oh god, is it crashing? No, it's not. Usually, you can get away with just saying, okay, orient joints and that will work out nine or ten times. That will work out fine. Again, X should be pointing at a child, and that's it. X at child. And that looks fine. Like the last ones, they can't, right, because they have nothing to point at, so that will, not, that will always be like this. And that's okay. Awesome. So let's have a look at our joint chain. Is that still correct? The joint of the, what's this? Well, I should probably name this as well. So this is joint uh, left upper upper arm. Nice. And this is my joint lower arm. Now the question is, it's an important question. Oh, I've got one. No, what is my wrist? question is now, do we want to have a forearm twist? That's the question, that's the ultimate, ultimate question. A forearm twist means that we're going to add joints in between here, say so one here, and then we're going to add three of them in between. And when the main one, like your wrist, is actually rotating, and let me just find a different one here. So when this one is rotating, there's a fall off between the amount of um, rotation between these joints. So this one will go like 100%, and this one will be 75%, 80%, and 
that one 50 percent and that one 25. so again when you have your arm you can't see it of course but if you have your arms just extended right and and then if you rotate your wrist your elbow stays stays in in the same location right your elbow doesn't actually rotate but when you look at your muscles they will actually follow that line of the twist that your arm is actually making and that's called the forearm twist uh, which you can mimic i'm just going to do it because it is kind of sexy um, and it's really easy once you know, know the trick behind it it's not that difficult and i'll show you that trick uh, okay uh, there we go so the first thing i want to do is i want to unparent my hand here my wrist the whole shift p means unparent right so because there's now a hole in between uh, they don't turn blue because they're on a different layer here so let me just put it in there and i want to add a joint here I'm just going to add single joint that's it joint click done that's it that's all i want to do so i only want to, want to get one of those balls thingies then i'm going to grab both ends i'm going to grab this one and first turn off the such a such a handy script here to boop, boop. first the upper arm or the elbow whatever you want to call this and then the wrist and then your new joint here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to constraint point constraint but you turn off maintain offset when you do that it will join it will jump exactly in the middle and that's what you want to have so it will it will jump exactly in the middle that's perfect so let's do it again because we need two more i'm gonna add one more here to rigging I'm gonna add two of them actually there we go so two more of those balls so first that one then that one and that one point and this one this one and this one point so again point just means moving right so point just means the actual position of the object uh, and if you turn on maintain offset it will uh, blend between those two two positions so you have position a and position b pay so you have position a here and position b and when you have two of them two of them selected it will try to blend in between both of them so that will end up with that position c will end up perfectly in the middle of those two and if you have three of them it will try to balance so let's say for example you have three of them so you also have c here let's actually do more extreme let's do let's have c here it will find the average between all those three positions here so it'll probably end up like i don't know like here ish something like that so it's actually a really helpful trick so it can save you a lot of time once you know about this so that will work oh uh, fuck it you probably do it first constraint point boop, there you go and then again we can rebuild the chain here so child parent p child parent p child parent p so much being child parent wow i just broke everything the fuck did i just do <laughs> what happened what the fuck sure oh i know why probably i think i got an error somewhere let's have on let's undo this sometimes you get weird stuff you just make sure that you check like to see if there are no rotation values and they're not why is this blue oh yeah we're kind of yeah i've got i've kind of got one step here we need to first delete the actual constraints my bad delete these Otherwise, it doesn't work. There you go. I knew that, of course, that was a test, obviously. Perfect. So we now have like a double, double one in here. Let's check the, again, the. It's fucked up. Joint rotation is fucked up. So I'm just gonna, again, select the parent here, skeleton. Orient joints. Orient joints. There we go. Again, exit child, and that's perfect. So like this, this whole debate, right? Um, if you want to do for like a motion capture, uh, mocap data, it's very common that to have the, the Y pointing up, um, as, as, especially if you want to do it in like Unity or Unreal, if you want to like um, remap, re remap them in those programs, then Y is be pointing up. Otherwise it's gonna like flip the actual joints. Um, it's a little bit of a test right so in my case y is pointing up here it's perfect in this case though y is also pointing this direction so it's like yeah which one do you pick uh, it's a little bit complicated here um it's hot to bake right 
and of course it just depends on your needs for it um, in this case this, this will work fine this will work fine uh, but I know that for unity what I what I try to do um, is have like uh, my rig um, react to the environment so I can actually like look at, at the player and but also just not have also the entire body so I actually like follow the player around the entire body um, but that meant that I had to use the Y position as an up right because unity rotates um, based on the Y position or the, the Y angle it was really annoying so I had to do, redo all, all of my rigs at the end and you can do it as well if you want to go here like orient join you can actually play okay which one do i actually want to use so you can also say my primary axis will be y and then everything will go like this right so then y is pointing at the child for example you can also say you know i want to have set pointing at the child see so this is a little bit complicated and it depends on the engine and the needs for this uh, but if you see the default settings x y y those are fine right those are fine see and then y is pointing up and x is pointing at the child so it depends on what you want to use it for let me just put it like that but what i usually do though in this case um is to check them see if like the z is all pointing in the same direction if they are then it's good it's set an x if they are in the same direction then i'm happy in this case though it's opposite so what i could probably do here is flip them so you can say okay i want my flip it around see that one goes there and then you it's fine it doesn't doesn't really matter for the joints let's reset this good there you go it's okay it's okay so let's actually uh, mirror this because i'm lazy so let's unhide my character again i should probably also hide like the rest of my body uh-huh there we go and it's back so the easiest safest way to actually mirror or duplicate your uh, joint chains is to put them in a group uh, so control G group one um, that way the the only thing that will change in terms of a position and that sort of stuff is the group and, and not your joints it's a lot safer to, to do it like this you mind out that the default one is over here so it's kind of annoying um, so what we can do I'm gonna send a pivot here real fast and just gonna move it down and then you can of course do the same thing here again as well so I'm actually gonna delete my Forearm twist because I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna redo it because it's a little bit easier and uh, because the, uh, getting them in the exact same position is almost impossible so I'm gonna just delete them a little bit easier this should be a little bit higher and then it's just gonna do like this oh where's my camera there fuck off like here probably and here if you look I could just move the entire Hand probably not. I'm never that lucky. Uh, nope. I'm so that's so sad. Just keep in mind that you don't want to rotate this because now it's it's very tempting. Like okay, maybe if I just rotate it a little bit, I can I can actually get away with it. But please don't rotate because that will cause issues. So I have to move everything around here. It's kind of sad. This is okay. Ish. Perfect. This one is completely wrong. Completely wrong. Oh. Can I get away with local? Oof, that's easier. There we go. And the good thing about that we actually did them already is that Donkey just moved them. It's not that much work anymore. Oh, it's still a bit of work, but... That, that doesn't kill you, only makes you stronger, I've been told. But I, I think that's a lie. That's a whole different story. Okay, let's grab this one. That's okay. Bit tedious, but 
it's okay. It's like learning a uh, different language like German. It's just a little bit tedious, but it's all good. This is fine, exactly, this is fine. Uh, I'm trying to make them a little bit more straight, no pun intended, um, because your fingers are straight. And that way you can get a little bit easier to work with. Oh, oof. why are you all the way over there? Cut off here. That's better. Uh huh. I pushed in. As you can see, right, my axis here are completely fucked up. So this one over here, like it's like pointing this angle right now, it's completely fucked up. So I will have to change that. There's no escaping that, unfortunately. That's uh, okay. Keeps us busy, keeps us off the streets. And last one. And after this, we could just duplicate them both. That'll save a lot of time. Uh huh, uh huh. Again, I'm just aiming at that center. Vertex. Oh boy. Come on, where are you? There you are. It's just sometimes really difficult to see okay, what, what am I actually doing here? It's a bit difficult, but that's okay. I think that's fine. Okay, let's just first do the reorientation here real fast. That's better. I think. This one's still fucked up. This one doesn't. This one doesn't want to play. This one doesn't also does also not want to play. See, and this is a problem. See, they're all in the wrong angle. So if I grab my joints here, all of them, real fast, and just rotate them, see, it's just doing this. This is not good. So, so we're gonna have to fix that at some point. First, let's just move on here real fast. Again, let's do the uh, twist thing. Why is that? Is, did I just delete my entire arm? Oh, I just, oh God, I didn't duplicate it. I'm an idiot. Nope. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I'm like, where did, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's all good, could be worse, oh, it's all good, it's not like the end of the world or anything, but, end point, end point, we grab, we delete the orientation, the point constraints here, P, 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 P. Orient, thank you. Muy bien. It's fine. It's not like uh, that it could be worse. Now I've actually duplicated it. <laughs> so sad, so sad. It's fine. I will live, hopefully. Let's have a look. Saving here again. So delete or break your form twist. The reason why again, um, because they need to be perfectly aligned, like perfectly in, in a line. Otherwise you're gonna get like weird spasms. Um, and it does not look very cool. So I'll make sure that they are perfectly aligned. So I'm gonna move my stuff around here. Again, I have to redo that part. God damn it. It's okay. It's not that much work. And, I, and I'm just crying on the inside, but I'm not showing it. It's fine. There we go. So, one more time, yay. Uh-huh, 
-huh. And again, just, just make sure that you press D before you move anything. Otherwise it's gonna go haywire and, and you start crying and it's sad. We don't want that. Shouldn't take that long. Also doesn't really matter. Are they aligned? Okay, they are. This one's actually not that bad. Sometimes we get a little bit lucky here. Sometimes we have a break. Uh, oh, wrong button. See, this is not bad. It's all good. Could be worse. The several times I had students who did not have any backups and then they lost everything so that's kind of sad that's sad that's sad and um, doing this is not that bad it's actually pretty fast there we go There we go. See, piece of cake. Done. Again, we have to do the forearm twist again. That's okay. So again, I'm just gonna add three joints here immediately. Oh. And I, I only do it if like, um, grab a joint, click it, hit Q, G, last action, create joints. And then same thing again. So this one, this one, this one. Uh, point. And again, I'm just hitting G on DAS keyboard. And then we get to this one, point constraint, delete, delete, and delete. See, not that bad. Parenting. Of course, we also have to, have to name them, but I will do that later on. I, I don't want to bore you guys to death at this point, because that would not be that interesting. So let's move on to the actual legs and then we're just gonna um, duplicate them so legs in this case we have, we have a goat leg so I'm just gonna place it here I, I don't care about the position right now uh, let's do it here let's do it here and here he has feet I just hit him the, I just hit him the feet uh-huh so again, what's the pivot point of your upper legs? Probably around here. And let's move it. And let's move this one as well. And that bad boy. So ideally you also want to get to this one in a line. So right now this is not a line. This is a curve, so maybe a little bit more. That's better. Again, if it's not like in a line, it might cause issues. Or trick that you can do as well, it's also really simple is you grab it, group it, rotate the actual group. That's fine as well. So if you can also do it with the group, I'm gonna snap it. Oh, easy, easy. Uh-huh. And that rotate the group, that, that means that the joints don't get actually get rotated, it's, it's only the group. That's also, and that's fine as well. You can, you, you can do that as well, that's also fine. Just as long as you don't actually rotate the joints, everything's okay. Keep that in mind. It's also a bit of a trick, a bit dirty, but so is your mom, so that's fine. There we go, beautiful. Uh, joint left upper leg. Let's name this shit. Uh, what's this called? In between leg? Mini. Mini lower leg, what, how do you call this? Um, uh, middle leg. Lower leg, I suppose. Lower leg, and this is gonna be my foot. Foot. Let's unhide my stuff. 
so I can see my feet, which also probably helps you. It's too low, too high. Should be around here. Still around here. My feet are actually a little bit small now. Look at it, they're a little bit small, but it's fine. And let's go to the ball of the foot, probably here. There I go. Same thing here, just move them. Perfect. And they can fuck off again. So, this is my foot, this is my toes. Not tps, should be toes. And this is my knob. Nope. Awesome. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to group them. So that means that my group is now perfectly set at 0, 0, 0, right? So now I can just flip it. And it's, and it's actually perfectly mirrored. So I'm going to duplicate this bad boy. I'm going to mirror it. And there you go. So the reason again why I saw that the, the joints value don't actually change, right? So they're both identical, as you can see. This is identical. This is really nice. That that saves you a lot of pain. So I'm just gonna first fix this leg over here because it's still sticking out. Should be like here probably. Makes a little bit more sense. There we go. Let's try this again. Duplicate it. Flip it. There we go. And and at some point I'm just gonna um, ungroup it, and then we can just parent it again. So now when I, for example, if you look at the hierarchy for now. So you see I've got a couple of groups here, these groups here, but if I now make this a child, that group is now empty again. But the, but the values are still the same, that's why it's so sexy. See, they, they haven't changed the skill values. That's perfect, that's, the, that's what, what we want to have. This is fine, so let's add the more stuff here. So I need a clavicle. I definitely need a clavicle, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it starts here. One joint is fine. There we go. A little bit forward. Just look at the center line again. This so this is the center line. I'm gonna place it next to it, and it should end like in the middle of the shoulder, roughly. Right here is fine as well. There you go. So joint left clavicle. And if it's a caps, it's true, so it's fine. So I'm not gonna uh, parent these together yet because I, I first need to duplicate them in a group. But for now, I'm just gonna leave this over here. And I'm gonna actually do this one to this one. So n never parent this to the neck because that would mean that if your neck would Rotate that your clavicle would also rotate, which sounds really painful, so please don't do that. Unless you want to pay a visit to the hospital, then by all means, but preferably not. This sounds a little bit weird here, this angle. I don't like that angle. A little bit here, a little bit here. There we go. Let's continue this bad boy. So I'm gonna start here. So click on the joint first. And it usually stops at your ear, but this guy doesn't have any ear, so that would kind of ruin the entire thing. Um, so where should we end this? Around the jawline, probably around here. I think I have to sneeze. <laughs> Do I? I don't. I think. False alarm. Yeah. Just gonna continue on all the way to the top. Beautiful. This is my head then. Joint head. This is gonna be my knob and this bad boy. Right, head, no. Cool, let's add a jaw. Uh, keep in mind that if you're adding jaw, don't, don't do it like this. This looks logical, but that means that you can't actually rotate your jaw without moving your entire head, which also kind of defeats the purpose of having a jaw. So you make sure that you have two joints here, so one and then click and then. See, and now you can actually move your jaw independently. Otherwise it kind of ruins the entire purpose. So jaw nope awesome that's the basic body 
pretty much have everything that we kind of need. The question is though, does this also have a clavicle, right? So if you have four arms, does it also means you have four clavicles? That's the question. I don't, I'd say no. I'm not sure though. I, 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 anyone here look like a like a fantasy character artist with a specialty in uh, four armed creatures? <laughs> I don't know. Let's actually re rename some stuff here. This should be R. So, that's my name, yeah. I've been told by my by my mom. Fine, Ivan. Soon, when they when they open at some point during our our lifetime, which I sincerely doubt, I just sincerely doubt it, but that's okay. So we have the basic ones in place here. I'm not gonna add a secondary clavicle here because I think that will be weird. I think that will be really weird. So let's add some more advanced stuff. So I also want to have like a. A ability to to wiggle my mushroom head kind of creepy that's fine so I'm gonna unparent this one I'm gonna do the same trick here again so I'm gonna make a new joint here joint oh I don't want this I'm gonna grab that one that one that one constraint point outliner there we go this is like the center of my head probably, that looks pretty good. Child, parent. P. So this is like an extra one, so joint, head, uh, I'm gonna call it hop. Hop. And then I'm gonna actually add some more joints to this one. So it's like, I, I know that this is, this doesn't do anything except for connection to other joints. So let's add, how many do we need? Probably a lot. Um, at least one, at least four, but I'm thinking of like six. That'd be kind of sexy, I think. So let's try that. So I'm gonna start here, and again, just don't don't do it like this way. Right? So that means that you can't actually move them independently. So just add a click here, oh, and then you add one in between, and then you add a joint. There we go. And I'm just gonna, gonna mirror that one later, so now I can move that one. Let's do. It's gonna be difficult that one. Come on. Select. Ah, it's fine. A little bit higher, a little bit lower. The P for P. It's okay. Do the same thing here. A little bit higher here as well. Questions don't like, do you only want to have like one of them in there? Or do you also want, want to be able to bend it, like Beckham? Or do you want to keep it like this? I think this is not, let's add one more. Especially up front, that sounds kind of cool. Do it here. Be it, that sounds so bad. That's okay. See now I got this uh, the actual ability to actually move my mushroom head. <laughs> now that is something that I would never, never thought that I would say online to people. It's fine. Just 
just don't sue me for like weird shit. Uh huh. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect by the placement. It just needs to be in there because with the painting we can just wiggle it, wiggle it a little bit. That's okay. So let's mirror some stuff in case I am going to mirror them because I'm a little bit lazy. Mirror, mirror, mirror. And these are all FK systems, right? So this this will not be IK systems. The only thing that I want to be able to do is just rotate rotate them a little bit, and that's it. So nothing like fancy with like wiggle or jiggle physics. I just want to be like I can actually move them a little bit up and down. That's it. So, so I'm not gonna do IK FK or IK. I'm just gonna FK this. So let's name this. I have no idea how to name this. Um, joint left. Cap middle. No. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, teaching online is just a little bit different, you know. It's not bad. Um, I do. I, I, I do like the fact that I can sleep in, like a lot longer nowadays. Um, middle front. But it is just different, you know. It's uh, not not the same not being able to look at people, as especially during like lectures. Um, you, you can't see if the people are actually paying attention or not. And that's kind of sad. Uh, cap front. Oh, did I not do that here as well? Oops. So during lectures, like you have to like hope slash pray that they are actually paying attention. And I, I know that they aren't. <laughs> no, it's, it, it's just um, bad lighting. Yeah, there's actually a um, discussion going on about teams. Uh, since most of us prefer teams, uh, but it's a little bit of like a suction thing, right? So it depends on if, if, if they are willing to allow us. So it's not that easy. <laughs> Uh huh, Eva. Sure, sure, sure. I don't believe you. <laughs> it's fine. It means I'm, I'm just renaming stuff to make a little bit more sense. It's the boring part of freaking, but that's the way it is. It's not all. It's not all fun and games. So it's it's a dirty job, but you know, someone has to do it. Usually it would be it would be your mom, but she's not here, so oh, I could say that she is here, but that's kind of weird since she's probably at home. I know for people that they don't even teach us serious with the post. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they only need to have to to to, to hear like one complaint from from someone, and then we're all fucked. So let's not do that. That's kind of the whole point about it as well. And if they find out, then you know it's not going to be pretty. But it is something that, that, that we are. Yeah, it is. It is. And 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 there's also a, a bit of a thing, right? So we now have to like, yeah, yeah. I bought you Korean Viagra penis beer but I freaking <laughs> what, what does that even taste like you what the fuck man <laughs> that's so confusing on so many levels I don't know what that means I think that's it right did I, did I miss one uh, where's my liner that's my liner fucking mint finally awesome that's better. Let's have a look. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, why, uh, so th there was someone in Korea who thought about that idea and actually did it? That's that's like what 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 were they thinking or what were they drinking when they come like hey hey guys you know let's just make beer with a, with like a cone with a penis on top of it. So it's like a good idea. What? It's disturbing. 
the main levels. So let's add in some volume joints, right? And again, what I mean with volume joints is just to make my life easier with um, weight painting. So what I'm gonna do, right, you can see right, the distance between, let me just try to zoom in here a little bit. So like, if you look at the distance between like this joint over here and the front side of that skin, right? It's a, it's a big distance. Um, and this one is even worse. So that that means that Maya probably does not have any idea, like like this, the furthest is over here, where they actually belong to. But if but if we add like a uh, joint there, they're like, hey, you know what? This is a joint. Use this one as your weight. So what we can do, and it's a little bit easier in this case as well. The only thing you have to do is just place them. So I'm gonna do it from here. So I'm 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 just gonna see if I can align them with my spine roughly. Doesn't have to be exact. So this one first. Or this one actually not, because I'm I'm gonna use a Breathing joint for that one, but this one over here, and cue it. And let's do another one. Same thing here, so this one over here, just align it a little bit. There we go. One more over there for the belly. See, it's just there, right? They're just, just there, that's it. The only thing I'll do here is I'm, I'm just gonna child these. Breaking is confusing. And that's it. And that's, yeah, actually, basically, it replicates. Cool thing about it as well, right? When you would actually rotate this one here, they will actually move as well. So you also get a little bit like, like folding of the actual skin, like you would have in, have in real life. Um, it, it mimics that as well a little bit, you know. So that's that's one way of doing this. So I'm gonna actually show you another trick here. I'm gonna duplicate these. Let's duplicate them. Unparent them. Shift P it again, and I want to place them a little bit more inside the body. Same thing here, right? It's also again the distance between over here to this one over here is massive. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm just gonna grab those joints, I'm just gonna move them a little bit. Like roughly the center of the fleshy parts. Roughly. This one, do I need that one? Yeah, let's add it. Might as well. There we go. And now the cool thing is I'm gonna do. So I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to duplicate them again. I'm going to move them backwards. So actually I'm doing the same thing here on the back as well. Again, again the distance is, is really big. So I'm doing the same thing here. So let's find them. Move them forward. A little bit hard to see sometimes. A little bit, there you go. And then this one should be a little bit back here as well. So it's just filling the, like the voids, the empty spaces that we have in, in, in our joint system here with joints. This one can actually probably go, yeah. And again, I'm gonna say child parent P, same thing. So I, I wanna create like a, like an actual prep case here. So this one, this one. There we go. That one to that one. So we're like mimicking an actual rib cage. So this one could probably use a little bit more like over here. Now, of course we can still tweak it it's not the end of the world. Uh, maybe a little bit more here. So again, it's just filling up the big spaces that we have. And that's fine. That's okay. It just makes life a little bit easier when it comes to sexual skinning. So let's name these bad boys. I'm gonna call this joint. Um, Torso one, that makes sense, I think. Don't know if that makes sense, but in my mind, it makes sense. There we go. So I'm gonna call these uh, joint uh, left volume one. Uh, let's do this actually front one. This is front two. This is from three. Then we go back. Back one B for back. Not B B, but one B. So it's just it's just a little bit easier to um, identify them when we actually start when painting this bad boy. A little bit easier. And same thing over here. Just grab it. Skeleton mirror. Mirror mirror. Mirror mirror on the wall. That looks pretty good actually. 
See, now you get a little bit more feeling that there's actual, like, volume to our character. I want to actually want this a little bit to the... This one is bugging me, I'm sorry. A little bit more here. Nitpicky, but we should all, we should all be nitpicky. Awesome, 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 awesome. So let's also have one for breathing, which is pretty simple. Just gonna start one here, just gonna. So where do you breathe from? Well, it starts around like a little bit below your um, clavicle, like here probably-ish. Just gonna push it down. Since it has two chests, like a little bit longer, like this. And, and the only thing that's gonna do is this, right? So it's only gonna go like this figure. Not disfigured, but in this <laughs> this manner. So you can all do something like this, right? So a little bit like like a pump effect. And then that's all the thing that I want to do. So let's call this joint breathing one and two. And I'm gonna attach it to the same one as my clavicle. There we go. So I can just do like e -e -e -e, that's it. It's a little bit more make make it come alive a little better. This is actually starting to look pretty good. Okay, let's start mirroring the hands here, the arms. So there's a group here already, so I'm gonna move it back to my center grid. Snap to grid. Uh -huh. This is now on the grid. Oof. Come on. Thank you. So I can just flip it. Same thing here. And you can access that group by by pointing up. Uh, hey, why won't you? Thank you. Same thing. Duplicate it. Flip it. Save it. Let's see if make a backup here real fast. Increment and save. Thank you. And let's connect these. So this should go to the clavicle. Oh, we should probably first mirror my clavicle. Oh, mirror joints, mirror joints. Thank you. Connect these, there you go. Question is though, where to, what do we connect our other arm? <laughs> you just have to be nice to my hand, like be gentle. To top the top of, to the top pair of hands what I'm thinking yeah or just maybe we can add a clavicle like a tiny clavicle but it's also kind of weird right but I also want to have like the ability to move a little bit forward actually you know what I, I am gonna make like like a like a mini clavicle a little bit shorter than the usual one like maybe like here I'm gonna follow that line actually oh shit turn this off I'm gonna start here to there. The reason why, because um, your because your shoulder can actually move forward, and I want to have the same thing over here a little bit, like a smidge, a smidge of moving forward. Doesn't make any sense probably, but oh, that again. So didn't the um, the weenie <laughs> tiny weenie clavicle? Well, yeah. So. Did you guys see the uh, whole shit that that happened in in the U.S. with uh, the Capitol? Fucking hell, that, that was a mess. Joint uh, left lower clavicle. Yeah, what the fuck? I did not see that one coming, to be honest. Uh, there. Be it. Skeleton mirror. Dobre. Let's parent these. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I just followed it mostly on, on, on uh, Twitter. I was like, what the fuck? Let's see if my rig actually works. Everything's connected. Everything's connected. So what I do often, right, is the pelvis, in this case, this is my root, right? The pelvis is my root. 
I just rotate to see if everything's everything is moving and falling all, all around, and I think it actually is awesome. Good start. Yeah, I saw it. I went, what the fuck? I was such. Did not. I did not expect that at all. To be honest, it was, was kind of. So many. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so. Usually, right? If you want to go like really advanced rigging, but well, you you also make a facial rig. Uh, you, that means you would have like uh, 60 joints in the face as well, at least like 60 minimum as well. As well. But that would look awesome though, but it's even more work and I'm not going to do that. Um, I just um, automated that by using Python. I just automated the entire rigging process. <laughs> it took me like a month to make, but it does save me a lot of time now. That kind of It's kind of helpful. Rig, rig goals, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's use the custom script again. Uh, floop, so it's easier now. Again, it just grabs all the. So let's orient them. I'm just, I'm just gonna grab the, the root joint, orient joint. Make sure that you have children as well on the floop. There you go. Does everything at one time. Much easier. I got a message though. What did it say? What did it say? Cannot perform joint orientation. Yeah, which one, Maya? So annoying. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, next stage would be adding IK handles as that sort of stuff, and then I would usually start making the actual controls. Uh, this looks so creepy, but it is really helpful. So again, I'm just looking at the Y. Uh, so this one is a little bit weird. See, this one is a little bit off. It's like, why are you pointing? Why are you pointing down? Sorry. Let's check this one if you can fix this. So I'm gonna say turn off children. Um, I'm gonna set orient to world. Doesn't work. Oh, it has transformations. Why do we have? Someone has transformations. Someone is being a bad boy. Which one has transformations? One of these. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> one of them has, one is being naughty. Which one of you is being naughty? Grab my fingers. Someone has rotation values. I want to know which one. Oh, it's probably this one. The group, can I do this? Oh, that's so filthy. Let's try this again. And orange joint. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm. See, this is what happens. Let's not do that. So that went fucked up. But because of my group here, oh, did I? Hmm? It had rotation, now it does not have orange. Awesome. Oh yeah, because I froze with transformations. Should not have done that. There we go. So let's actually undo this so I can probably do it like this. What's happening here? There we go. Should add one. Still adds one. That's kind of annoying. But because the group that actually has Everything else is fine though. It's all good. Yeah, so that's that's why it's really, you have to be really careful in doing some stuff. It's kind of annoying me though. That why this this one? Yes, because of the because the group, right? This one actually has transformations, and if uh, and I can't delete them, uh, so this is an issue. Good times. What if I just do it like this? Still makes a group. So yeah, it's a group in a group. Thank you. Let's drag this out completely. There we go. Let's drag this back in. Still adds a group. <laughs> there goes my brilliant idea. 
ungroup this, ungroup. That's okay. And join time. So now it has rotation values. I'm gonna freeze them. Or in joint, there we go. Still can't. Why not? Delete that one. Thank you. Problem solving to the win. It's just fucked up, as you can see. So, let's undo this. So this is really annoying about, about rigging. Let's be really super careful. This one, okay. Still as a group. Actually, I'm gonna do it like this. Usually when you um, reparent, it should ungroup it. In this case, it didn't. I'm curious to know why. Oh. What? Just happened? <laughs> okay, yeah, then flips. So far so good, so far so good, and parent this again. Finally. Delete that one. Yay. Thank you. Wow. So if that happens to you, <laughs> um, drag it out of the actual group. And uh, this probably will cost this doesn't cause any issues. Um, drag it drag it out the Drag it out the main hierarchy, un ungroup it, reparent it. Uh, you might have to freeze the joint transformations, which is not ideal, keep that in mind, but in this case it did solve the issue. So, size again, orient joint, see still one here, transform three. So, there's another group in here somewhere. Where's the other group? It's probably this one. No, this does not have any. So trying to find the other, so there's another group in here somewhere. This one, see this one also has transformations. Same thing here, right? So I'm gonna, uh, gonna I wanna say clap this in, but that's Dutch. So I'm gonna drag it out my hierarchy completely. There you go. Uh, and it is, I'm gonna go unparent this. There we go. So it's now unparented again. Um, we can now drag this outside my group here, so I can, I can say ungroup. Oh, let's first three transformations here. Ungroup it. That's fine. And then we can re-parent this. Fixed. There we go. And let's do orient joints again. There we go. Test for one. There's another one. That's my leg here. Same thing. Let's build a dancer of, of using groups. It's, it's not that bad though. But again, let's drag this out outside my hierarchy. On group. It's gonna flip. So free transformations. So the thing is right, you're not doing this on the actual joints, but this is on the group, which is okay. Ungroup this bad boy and then we can. Oh, it's still parented, that's fine. And again, skeleton orient joint, and now we have no errors. Luckily. There we go. Now, if you want to be super nitpicky, right? If you want to be super hardcore, you also want to have like the Z pointing in, in the same direction. Like the Z here is pointing forward and the other one is pointing backwards. That means that if you want to do it like this, like the rotation, um, you want to use this, I think it's actually Y, so this one is positive value, 
and this one's probably a negative value pointing forward so it's more like do you want to be able to control them both with a value when using the same value it's up to you it's really not that important for for most people because because you because you'll use controllers um but this can cause issues when you want to do like mocap uh, remapping in that case you have to go in here and probably go like secondary minus see and there we go it's fixed that's not set point in the same direction and now if i use y here see it's positive value as well so that's how to fix it but it doesn't really matter that much for most applications right it doesn't really matter so let's turn these off one more time i'm just going to check it or in joint default settings now it's all different again <laughs> oh i should probably plus this plus there you go. awesome so this is my rig it's beautiful we're done <laughs>
it has to be a little more exact here so it starts here that's good enough and it ends d this here there we go and select the chain to that there we go one one to that one thank you that's one right so this is a uh, left and uh, neck let's do it actually like this muscle neck a little bit easier to understand this uh, there you go also want to have the pecs so they start around here each let's do it like here from the nipple to the shoulder to the deltoids like this oh this is not really the nipple but you get the idea and then in there there you go so this is my left mm, let's go back and up. now do we, want, do we want to add more let's add more because we can awesome let's also do the neck muscle here as well so the, the trapezius trapezium this one here the oil or traps if you want to get into like lingo a little bit here a little bit there that's the um, diamond shaped one on the back of your neck that goes down to your back there we go it's kind of cool so what i want to do about is that these ones actually like uh, scale down so they create like this suction effect i don't know how to explain this they create like this um, um <laughs> it just shrinks it's it it shrinks i was looking for that word it shrinks wow uh left muscle trap let's go down one more this is my nub nub nubby 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 nub. do we need anything else we need a second pack here so i can just probably duplicate this bad boy there we go a little bit shorter here. Oh, D it. A little bit lower. There we go. Check it. Do we need one in the legs? Not really. Not really. The one in the neck. This one, you mean? Uh, oh, God. It's getting messy. You mean with this one over here? That one? Still not <laughs> wow did you just uh google that one? Oh, this one yeah, yeah, yeah that could be i i i believe you honestly if, if that's if that's the case i i 100 believe you mean that one i have no idea i just call it the uh, neck muscle because i don't know what <laughs> let's see let's let's find out if you if you're correct or not let's let's google this this bad boy over here let's do this you are entirely correct good job Oh wow, <laughs> wow. And then he, he probably had to learn all, all the muscles right in the human body. Holy shit. That sounds like a pain in the ass. And let's add one more. And the most famous one of all, the Latissimus dorsi or the Lats. Let's do it here. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, oh, wrong, wrong side, wrong side, wrong side. This side. So it starts around here. Ish, let's do it like here. That sounds like a good location. Sounds, it looks like a good location. Oh, this is getting complex. Are you inside the body? I can't tell, honestly. Oh, there you go. There we go. So this one is called the uh, Latissimus dorsi or the Let. So for those who go to to the gym, uh, you can actually, actually train the muscle specifically by like pulling it down. For example, you train that muscle. Uh, oh, and it's called the uh, Latissimus dorsi. Yeah, wow. Impressive. That's that's really impressive. Let. Mip, nope. 
This should be called not. So we have one, two, three, four, five muscles, five muscles. It's probably enough. It's probably enough. Yeah, well. Um, imagine having the, the same teachers for six years. Jesus Christ. Like PTSD to, bound to happen, right? Awesome, awesome. So we now have pretty complex rig happening. So the things about the muscle joints, right, we actually are not going to connect them to the, to the main rig. Not by like parenting, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use these ones, these, these called bulk caters, to actually constrain it to the, to the main rig, but we're not gonna parent them. Uh, so this is a different trick because we want to be able to scale them without any, uh, yeah, it's true. It's true. Well, I know because I'm almost finished with my master degree. Thank fuck. Uh, which took me two and a half years, so I I I know that pain. To be honest, I'm I'm gonna get so drunk by the time I I finish it. Even if it's five point five point five, I'm just gonna celebrate so fucking hard, and, and I'm gonna get drunk on whiskey so much. Can't wait to be honest till that time is actually there. <laughs> well, it's it's just it's it's in um, um, academic Dutch, and my Dutch is, is awful because uh, a I speak and write English every single day, so my Dutch is pretty bad. And my teachers are both doctor in the Dutch language, so it's like just shoot me honestly just 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 shoot me they are like nitpicking about words i'm like bruh honestly just 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 let me pass please so i uh i i know your pain as well honestly it's just so bad for dutch for dutch people right in here um the word zal or zullen that's like no 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 that's that's no no you can't use that word that's, that's bad but I'm like bro why yeah because it's like not a good academic style I'm like come on come on just let me pass <laughs> honestly just let me pass it's okay I think it's, I, I still spell muscles wrong right it's muscles yeah Christ it's Friday Wow. So do we need anything else in here in terms of muscles? Probably not, right? So let's just mirror them real fast. I think I can do just do it like this. Mirror, 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 mirror. That's it. Then I'm gonna show you another cool trick and then I'm gonna call it a day. Um, you can rename stuff. It's a little bit easier, switch and replace. <laughs> did I do that or was it someone else? Please say someone else. Or did I do that? Could be, it could it, it could almost be me though, but uh, select it. This is a cool trick, right? You can actually go here to modify and then say search and and. Replace names. I can say L underscore replace it with an R underscore. Oh, there you go. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Fast way to change your names here. So I'm gonna remove the one from this because that's really annoying me. It just doesn't look that sexy. And it's all about the sexy naming of stuff. Yeah, back, back one, it's fine. Um, back. one let <laughs> yeah but uh, I did the same right so my what I did right before the summer vacation I uh, also um, handed in my thesis or master thesis and so be, be before that I got some feedback from a teacher I'm like yeah you know I'll just 
I'll just fix that feedback and I'm gonna hand it in and all will be well. And then after the vacation, like, yeah, Mark, why did you hand it in? Because it wasn't even finished. I'm like, then why didn't you just tell me? Then I wouldn't have handed it in. Why did you give me feedback? Like, yeah, if you do this, then it's good enough. I'm like, oh. So I know the feeling. Been there, I've been there, done that. And of course, don't forget to hydrate people. Don't forget to hydrate, very important. Two liters of water every single day. To be a healthy human being. Oh, camera, there you go. Cool, so next week we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna finish this. So what I'm gonna do next week is as we're actually gonna bind uh, or connect the muscles to our uh, main rig by using locators, these bad boys, the pluses. We actually can do that. So we can um, make it make it follow around. We're gonna actually have the scale thing in there as well. So we can actually like scale our muscle joints. And then we're gonna add IK, FK, and maybe controllers. I think they'll be doable as well next week as well. I think that should be doable. But for now, uh, I'm gonna get a beer. Uh, I hope you have a nice weekend, everybody. Don't drink too much. Don't drink enough. Or don't drink. Do drink, do drink enough. Why? Wow. Prost. <laughs> and stay safe. Stay healthy. Most importantly, stay healthy. Stay mentally sane. Por favor. And then uh, we'll talk again soon next week or not or sooner. Depends. But thank you for being here. I hope you en enjoyed this evening. And das uh, vidanya. Ciao. Adieu. Au revoir. Tschüss, später, dui, hernige, and uh, take care.